Hello, this is Alan with Collecting Maddox. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to go or just kind of have some Greg Maddox cards in the background and then kind of tell you my thoughts on kind of how I saw the Phillies and Braves go through. Now that the season's over, officially over for the Braves, it was kind of officially over prior games, but it's officially, officially over now. Um, so I'll kind of go a little bit into the back, back end of how kind of why I feel how I feel. Um, so my grandfather was a Cubs fan his entire life and never saw them win a World Series. My father was a Cubs fan his entire life and saw them win one World Series. So I feel like I've been pretty fortunate. I've had two World Series from the Braves in my lifetime. So I really can't complain too much. Like I got my my World Series really was 1995. Um, that one felt so good, especially after probably the 92 World Series. Uh, kind of going into the 92 World Series, I, it was, I was really excited because I thought, man, they've got such a great pitching staff. And the pitching did not let them down. I mean, Smoltz, Glavin, and Avery all pitched gems every single game. Every single one. And they still ended up losing four to two. I mean they the bullpen the bullpen was I don't know what was going on. I, it was not it was just not happening. Like they just did not have a solid bullpen on any of the games. Cause it was Yeah. It, it, I mean if you wanna look back on it, it was just kind of those frustrating games where you're you're leading in the like the sixth inning, and then they just, the bullpen just blows it. Like you're going in, or even going into like the eighth inning, you're still leading, and then Toronto would just come up with like three runs to come back. Um, it was still one of the toughest World Series to watch. Um, from the the one where um, Minnesota won, I was still kind of at my beginning phases of kind of getting more into baseball, so I was just enjoying it. Uh, and really, it was, I can't even, you can't say anything bad about that World Series because it was just awesome. Like, even from a Bay Braves fan, like, just probably one of the best World Series of all times. Um, you just it went down to, like, the last pitch. You had that extra innings game. Uh, Smoltz and Jack Morris both just threw gems from like a pitching nerd like myself just can't you can't complain about it like it was just again you just have to admire greatness sometimes but 95 I feel like was my like that is where kind of like I got my world series for for my lifetime for the team I root for and anything else I get so like 91 again just icing on the cake um so that's kind of my perspective on that. Uh, so losing to the Phillies, Phillies outplayed them, like just hands down every single game. Even the one that the Braves won, still out outplayed them. Wheeler pitched. That that was a, it was great to see it. It was one of those like, again, just admire it when it's really, really great. Uh, I enjoy great pitching and that was that was a gem. I wish he, I almost wish he would have won because that was just such an impressive pitching that he had, he had put through. He was on point every single pitch. He made one mistake and got paid for it and paid for it. But just the rest of the game was amazing to watch him pitch. Um, probably the other two games, man, Bryce Harper is just awesome. Like just, I hope... I, I don't want to take him for granted. I feel like I took Mike Trout's career for granted. And I'm really trying to not take his career for granted where he is just that good, especially in these moments of of playoffs and just really just like time and time again, just comes through in the clutch. Um, I know it's not quantified or anything like that, but really amazing to watch um, him play in those big moments. 
So I can't, I, I want to kind of like appreciate greatness a little bit more. I would say going to when um, Otani and Trout came around, I really wanted to take my kids there and be like, these are some of the best. Like, don't, don't take it for granted like I did Trout, the rest of Mike Trout's career where I get, like, I understand why I did, you know, and kind of, again, starting up a family, trying to get stuff organized. If I took my kids when they were younger, it would have been kind of, a, kind of wasted anyways, too. So, um, yeah, just kind of, again, continue to enjoy it. Um, I think the Phillies are going to be tough to beat, but yeah, the, the Diamondback look, Diamondbacks look so good, too. So I don't know if you, I don't know if I can really call a winner there. It's going to be fun. Like, both atmospheres are just so fun. Uh, both teams are fun to watch. I, It's kind of nice being able to just watch it as a neutral party. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'd say the only thing is just don't let Houston win. Just either the Rangers or Diamondbacks or the Phillies, just don't let Houston win. That's probably my biggest, biggest ask. I feel like that's probably what the the Braves are made for. They're made for probably I think they're made for beating Houston, but they're they aren't made for beating the Phillies. And I'm worried that the Phillies are the other way around. And that's my that's kind of my concern is Houston's gonna kinda just slap the ball in these like little areas where they aren't I mean, kind of the drawback of the Phillies, and I don't think this is a big surprise to anybody, is like their fielding. I mean, Trey Turner is, ooh, huh. Just watching that, and again, like, okay, so you, yes, you're the shortstop, and I know there's a lot more stuff that comes your way, but man, there's some stuff that's, uh, that's not looking great coming from him. So I, I don't want to know, I don't know if I would use the, the Jeter analogy, but it's it's pretty close. You are a great batter, but whoo, yeah. So we'll see how that that they deal with uh, the. I think the Diamondbacks are going to be probably very similar to how how kind of Houston like slaps it around too. So it's going to be a lot of. They're going to have to be fielding. They have to be on point. But if if Wheeler pitches like he did, whoo, yeah, and it's going to be tough to beat. I. But really, I mean. Full credit to the Diamondbacks, who I thought the Dodgers were the other juggernaut, and yeah, they took them down. So it'll be exciting playoffs. It's I feel like there's not a front runner, which is kind of fun. Um, even Houston, I don't think Houston. It doesn't feel like Houston is a front runner. Like if anything, I feel like maybe the the Rangers are probably the stronger one in that uh, in that fight. Because the Rangers just took apart the Orioles. Um, yeah, I'd say the last thing is uh, I don't really want to... I don't like the cop-out answer of the format of the playoffs, how it expa- or how it, how it's doing what it is. I mean, I mean, I'm not a fan of it, but that's just completely different. But it's... It's such like a cop-out answer to be like, oh, it's the format's fault and we're not going to address our actual issues. So, yeah, it's the format. It's not us. Um, yeah, every, every team is playing to the format. Don't, don't like, not adjust to it. You that's, that's what you do. You adjust to the cards that are in front of you. You don't just sit there and accept what it is. Um, so yeah, I hope that doesn't I hope that doesn't happen within the Braves organization where they just kind of like, oh well it's the organiza- it's it's how it's structured. Um, I'd say I am very pro and this is probably again not like a big not like a big uh, fan favorite type thing, but I am pro expanding it two more teams and then you do split it up into four divisions similar to like what the nfl almost well i guess exactly what the nfl is doing um and then from a baseball side just eliminating the wild card i'm not a fan of the wild card and i mean then you could easily split up the phillies 
and the Braves, and they still have those two juggernauts like hashing it out. Because uh, yeah, I don't think you would put put the Phillies in the South, and probably the South is going to include the Braves. So I think reorganization is bound to happen, especially if you get two more expanded teams, which I think is kind of what um, Manfred's looking at. And I'm not a huge fan of him, but I mean, from a from a structure of the baseball side, I think that makes more sense. Um, I just don't want to have like a playoffs where there's like, oh, well, you made the playoffs because you're in baseball. So every team makes the playoffs because everybody wins and everybody gets a gold star. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen. But if we can get like four teams making the playoffs, perfect, great. That's like, again, this, this team plays that team, great. Record counts because the best record plays the worst record. Cool. Or like home field advantage or whatever. So I think that works out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not a fan of the wild card. It seems like a... It's like a weird thing with like, okay, so did you have a better schedule? And then you have like all that debate. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Just have, have the division similar to uh, what the NFL has. That'd be my... That's kind of where I hope it's going, and that's where I, I kind of feel like it's going. Um, but yeah, don't use the cop-out answer of being like, oh, well, they had days off, so that's why they lost. It's such a... I don't know. Don't fight for first, then. I don't know. Don't be the best team in the in the regular season. You got to play to how, how the system works, and I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like that was the issue with the Braves. I don't feel like they were flat... I felt like pitching was pretty good. I felt like Strider did his job. Um, yeah, just the bats weren't there. Other than um, Austin Riley. Austin Riley looks good. Um, but just one player looking good compared to, I don't know, probably, probably at least five of the Phillies looking good. Like, good. Not just like, yeah, they were, they were there and they played well. But... Austin Riley looked good. Um, Bryce Harper looked good. Like those, those two were like top of their game. Um, everybody, like anybody else on the Braves that you could say looked good. I mean, other than the pitching, I can't. So that's kind of my thought. I'm not angry about it. I mean that, yeah. I mean, I've I've gotten my World Series. So everything else is kind of the. Again, icing on the cake. So I know this kind of ran a little long and I rambled a lot, but um, I thought it'd be kind of fun. Just I, I have a lot of uh, followers who are Phillies, and they probably are like, and they probably think like, oh, dang, the Phillies and the format, and like, no, man, it's uh, I got my World Series. They got their World Series like a few, like, so I don't know. Like probably most of those followers would be like. I need it every time, but I, I feel like the uh, desire to win the World Series every time is just ridiculous. Like, that's, so that's like a, a crack addict mentality of being like, I need more, I need more, I need more. Um, and no, I just be happy with what you got and enjoy the greatness when it's there. So it's pretty awesome watching a lot of those Phillies players play. Um, I'm going to try to try to keep up with Corbin Carroll and I don't like doing I'm, from a card standpoint I'm not going to do like a um, collect him because I, I have kind of like a time window where it's like oh unless they're a brave I, I, I will make the exception of a brave where I'll collect some of their cards uh, a little earlier but I try to keep a 10 10 year window of like I don't collect anybody until 10 years into their career which I know is ridiculous but I think it probably, in general, saves me quite a bit of money just because I don't have to deal with, like, all the prospecting of, like, buying current product or doing that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get I'll pick up a couple Braves if it's, like, in the dollar bins or something like that or 50-cent bins or something like that. But nothing that's going to go crazy. So, like, again, like, I think I picked up a couple of Matt Olson because my daughter's kind of in enjoys watching him play uh and and they were pink so you know i had to get the pink 
why would why would I want to get any other color other than the pink? I mean, they made a pink. So who cares about aqua? I am it's like it's one of those funny things where we're and again kind of totally sidetracking where you kind of uh are a particular type of parent and you think like, oh, my kids aren't going to fall into the social norms of everything. No, my boy likes cars and trucks and is very like, yeah. And my daughter likes pink and crafts. And, but they both really enjoy kind of baseball, softball and getting into that every year. So it's kind of just one of those funny things where you still kind of, even without pushing the social norms of everything, they still fall into it. All right. I've rambled on for probably, I don't know, 15 minutes of this 16 minute video. So I'll just stop now. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, and uh, good luck to the Phillies and good luck to anybody beating the Astros. I hope they do. All right, thanks for watching, bye.